Or brown to a lesser extent. Japan. Like, Ecuador is actually a kingdom, I think? I don't really know. Like, it is actually significantly less monarchist or fascist countries than I originally thought there would be. Oh yeah, I forgot to even show off this guy. This is this is one of the characters I found when I was working on the mod. Not working on the mod, but I was testing the mod. Is the king or emperor Circassia? You're you are not ready for this man's portrait, okay? Look, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> like my man thinks he's a Roman emperor. Why is he he looks like the, the one uh cooking YouTuber? Binging with Babish, I think. Like, he declared himself to be the Emperor of Circassia. What was going on with him? Anyway, civilian factories. Uh, let's militarize the shit out of India. We are not making light tanks. You know what? Fair. How many heavy tanks do we have? 153 light tanks. Don't even deploy this guy. Edit, duplicate. Place you all with heavy tanks. Oh, not artillery, thank you. Let's get some of these guys going as well. That's Hitler? Pinching <laughs> with Circassia? Or Circassian. Apparently they believe in liberty, though. Are they getting, um... Oh, liberty ethos is... You. Oh, so they tried to join the the liberal faction, but I think Italy said no. That's probably happened a few times, to be honest. Okay, let's raise the French matter. France, you should not have anything. That's one of his portraits, is it? Okay, we, we can't go to war with Assam. That's fine. I, I think Assam... I think Assam... You're Assam. Oh, you're in my faction. Okay, fair enough. I guess that's why it ended. Anybody else doing any crazy shenanigans? Why is one of Hitler's portraits this? Like, what? what is the con... Like, can Hitler declare himself to be, like, Holy Roman Emperor or something? Like... I'm not really sure what's going on there. More people are joining our faction. It really feels like more people should be joining with the, uh, with Poland. Because he's a wacky dude. Let's get more support for the Democrats, because that's going to be a stability boost for us. And we are happy with some nice stability bonuses. Officer Modifier, Core, Smoke and Fighter, Victory or Death. I mean, breakthrough is 5% usually is pretty good. I think it's from a mod. Very well could be. You're the capital hub. Connect these railroads together. Oh no, you're the capital. Oh, yeah, because you're the supply hub for this other country, right? Let's connect our rails like this. That seems fine. Okay. Popularity of fashion goes down by 0.2%. 150 political power. Economy laws go down by 25%. Public support. Or support more political power. Conscription costs go down by negative 25% as well. And then we'll send in an ultimatum. Well, we'll see if France is willing to accept my ultimatum. They might be. They might not be. Any actually wars broken out yet? No, we've only had the one war against Yugoslavia. Now, that's been about it so far. Okay. More planes in reserve. I get more officers. Artillery specialists? You know, artillery specialists are usually pretty good. Negative 110 on command power, I'm not concerned with. We should be more than okay there. You know, Pegu is fascist. You're absolutist. You're 50-50. You have liberty ethos. 
Which again also means that Italy has denied your application. I maybe I should have said it so the AI could not refuse a alliance request. Maybe that would have made things a little bit more interesting here, but that's okay. Does France own this island? They do, okay. So I wonder if them refusing to accept people is one reason that maybe Poland's faction is a little bit small. Again, it's like they got Tataria. And I'm not going to shit talk Tataria. You know, they, they were the first country we ever played in this whole thing. But at the same time, they are the I think they are the strongest power they got right now, which is really not saying much. I mean, Croatia has no units. I mean, at least the Byzantine Empire has more factories now, so... That's one thing that got going for them. You're already on war economy? Holy shit. In India is ready for war. They are they are absolutely gung ho about it. China, do you have Liberty Ethos? No, so it doesn't look like China decided to join any faction yet. And is not in a faction yet. They have fascist influence. Which I believe is actually a different modifier. I think it's a third way modifier here. How many nations we play through the whole thing? That's actually a great question. You know what? While we're here, let, let's take a look. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna count repeat countries. And I'm not going to include anything we've done in, Ho in Hoi 4 yet. So, it went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So we, and then it's been, we're now on our third country here. So overall, we switched countries 26 times in just under 900 years. I think the game, I think CK3 started in 1066 is, uh, is the start time we chose. So just about 900 years, 26 countries. I think with a hand, a small handful of repeats. I was just fucking choked on my own drink there. Excellent. Okay, political power is going well. Once this is done, we'll be able to get our recruitment law up a little bit. Might as well go to limited conscription because there's actually no penalty at all for doing it. And our planes. Deploy you guys here. Crank you up to, let's say, 300 and 100. You guys can back Orange Army for right now. I didn't even check to see what the AI was researching. You're researching the ability... Why? Okay. I'm going to let you... India, I'm going to let you finish these researches. But why was one of the first techs you decided to go with the ability to launch aircraft off of aircraft carriers? So I'm going to tell you right now, you don't fucking have an aircraft carrier. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, next time, definitely check Check researches. Check them a little bit more thoroughly. Because I don't I do not know what their what their plan is. Is that 500 days? Yes, because technically all the all the um Hoi 4 default techs are 1936. And it's 1933, so. Wait no, there's one tech that's really cheap. The port weapons, because it's technically a 1918 research, but actually, they've already got it, so. Like, even the cheap technologies right now are hundreds of days. Like, 100% research bonus? 
It's still about a year off. In fact, they should have taken that, actually. You know what? Okay, you don't actually lose research progress for doing this. Get this shit out of here. If you don't look, India, you do not need better boats. Your boats right now are completely okay. By the way, did air controls... No, air is still the same here. Is there any, is there any like, weird naming conventions? Sweden, Norway, Arctic, Russia, Siberia, Eastern Siberia, Russian Far East? I'm going to say it's part of China, so I'm not too sure what you're talking about. The people that designed uh, these maps have no clue what's going on. I wonder what other stupid things all the AI is researching. I mean, Armenia is researching naval units as well, just so they can sail in their fucking little lake right here. Okay, public support's almost ready to go. It's October already. Territory reward. This might end up leading us... Oh, it's only a 21-day focus. Okay. Follow up with getting limited conscription. Yes. Uh, Chief of Army, Division Attack, we'll, we'll take him as well. Cap is now down to 60, but I'm sure that's okay. Do I want to send a Europe unit over to Europe? Oh, wait, does Suez Canal exist? Okay, it does. You know what? Congratulations, this army. You are being sent to the Italian front. Are you guaranteed by anybody? Just Finland. Again, Finland's in our faction. We don't have to, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, faction check once again. Okay, not too much has uh, shifted recently, one way or the other. I mean, the, the French could just capitulate and be like, you know what, fine. Take all this stuff we don't want anyways. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what they end up doing. Okay, we do have some more points here. Do we have anything... Improve worker conditions, ban radical parties. Are there even any radical in government? The Freedom Party is 1%. Okay, we don't care about them even remotely. Could ban the fascist. What is, what is, how does that affect us? 16% stability goes down. I totally don't want to do that then. You know, let's improve worker conditions. A little bit more stability. The factory output's not too bad. Again, India is one of the richest places in the world, so... We're happy with the way that's turned out. France has no allies, a couple of colonies. France, are you willing to accept my, my ultimatum? These are also... Okay, you're 28 days. Will we even be able to fight... We might not even be able to fight this war. No, we're definitely not going to be able to fight this war before January, I think. France have rejected our demands, huh? Why are the decisions? I feel like the decisions are not popping up. I'm going to save and reload, actually. Because I feel like we should be having pop-ups that are not showing up here. Like, you see we have one and it's not doing anything. Let me reload this and see if maybe that'll fix it. I don't know what the issue might be. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, you know what? It might have been because we started the game in um, as an observer. That actually, that probably is actually the reason. I mean, India will go to war with France very, very soon, which will probably bring in the rest of the Democratic Front. France. I mean, I know we literally just played as you a, 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 half an hour ago. I'm, I'm sorry to say. You know, your time in the sun is done. It's over. I, I, I apologize that this is how this had to turn out, but... Okay, our units are now arriving. You'll be ready in eight days. I might have to tag switch back as, let's say, Italy or something to make sure these borders look nice after the war. But we'll probably have to do some... Some fixes, for sure. Okay, we're playing France. Next up, 21 days. Begin the war. I, like, France, you have nowhere near enough units to actually stop us. So I'm not worried about it. Okay, 
Yeah, you just go as aggressively as possible to southern France. And again, we, we can't... We can't re-roll as France, so we, we, we're not going to try to fight a losing battle. Again, let's just take another quick glance at... Faction map mode. Anybody else join this faction yet? Still no, but again, no one has also joined up with the Democrats. Quite, quite yet. I don't, again, I don't even know what territory we're actually fighting over. Not in a faction with France at peace. World tension goes up by one point. And then you are... And revanche. What, what territory does France have that we want? Like, legitimately, I do not know. Is it you? It might be, like, the Seychelles Islands. Maybe it's, like, some territory. Or maybe it's, like, this island. Oh, it's this. It's this tiny strip of islands right here. Okay, that's what we're going to go to war with France over. Is that small strip of land. But they get, there we go. We're at war now. Will Italy join the war? They would not accept. That's negative 5,000 reasons. It would cost them 23,000 political power to do so. Okay, fine. Well. We're, gonna, we're just going to yes man Italy into the war anyways. And then they should have political power ITA. Okay, I mean, they're going to have really bad political power for a little bit. I don't think it can go below negative 500, so it's not like it's that bad. Actually, I'm just going to take his Italy just for a quick second just to fix their political power. You know what? I'll even give a little bonus. There we go. Okay, well, it's time for the wheel to once again return. So who will be next on our list? And I did. Yeah, Italy is no longer on here. Let's roll the wheel. And by rolling and spin. Next up is China. Okay. Are you actually the CHI tag or are you like a number? Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're just going to do a quick save here. Save that up. Move China from the list over here. Save those settings. So here we are. What is the situation looking like? First, let's check research. Why does every... The AI fucking loves naval units. I don't know what's going on here. Stop building these boats. Give me construction effort one. Followed by production machine tools. As well as a rifle. With well, a water research... Okay, well, fine. Let's make sure all of our units here are together. I think we have enough for, like, literally one army. Seventeen divisions. Okay, it's not, it's not a ton. I'm going to assign you to the border of... Let's say Tonkin for now. I want to delete infrastructure effort, though. I want to go for political effort. And I want to at least give... Okay, Tripoli's capitulate. Wait, Tripoli? I didn't even know I didn't even know Tripoli existed. Uh, were they a pup? Wait, who's Tripoli? They don't have any I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but the Democratic Front is very large. They are getting a few more people joining them. But I, I do think their launch is they need at least one ally. They need someone that they can count on, and I think that'll be China. Let's go fascist. Why not? We'll get a political advisor. We get 150 get to get ourselves the points there. Again, France. They they don't stand a chance. They're 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 dead as hell. But we are getting closer and closer to when researches are. Just only going to take a normal amount of time and not a year and a half to two years. That's something. Oh, even, even Morocco is participating. 
Oh yeah, because Morocco, you're a puppet of Italy, right? Hell yeah. We got little Morocco. They might actually take back all their old territory. Got the wait and see on that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, chi China in the end of Victoria 2 was just an absolute mess. They had, honestly, I think they had like 15 revolutions within just a few days. Or within like a few years. Honk is not in a faction. Are guaranteed actually by the Japanese, which I'm surprised by. And what what is your what's your plan here? I'm not too sure. Okay, political advisor, we're gonna go for fascist demagogue. Get a little bit more fascist support in here. Sind available! Army of experience. Yes, please, I will take it. Poland, you really need to get more allies, man. Like, look at Italy. They're they're stacked up. They're stacked with allies. You guys have actually nothing going on right now. Is this core French territory? No, it's not. Okay. You have 106,000 rifles. And you're only training eight divisions? Okay. Well, I'm going to deploy you guys immediately. Assault divisions. Okay, you're actually a very complex army. Are you making tanks? Eight nine tanks. Infantry template one. Oh my god, this is garbage. Let's get you up to at least uh, 20 combat width. Save that up. Infantry template one. Just make more of you. Okay, 10 divisions. Do I not have enough commanders for this? No, we do. So why does the AI not assign any of them? I don't know. Oh, look, you, Fabus. How are you? Let's put you on the board with Japan right now because I don't know what Japan's going to do in the long run. Man, battle plan. I'll take it. How are, how are supply lines in China? There are no railroads in the country whatsoever. Okay, very cool. Who needs, who needs supply lines? I don't. I don't. Right now, you're, all, you're just militarizing the hell out of your country. Okay, we need more supply hubs. Or at least to... There's no supply down here. Let's build like a supply hub there. Connect that by rail to a port. So something like this will maybe make sense? We'll have to wait and see. Who do we have cost abilities against? Tibet, Hishpa, Indochina, and Mongolia. Either Mongolian dispute. That's after 1936. Kalat Republic, Indochina, Hispau, and Tibet. I don't think any of those guys are in a faction right now. But a lot of them are probably guaranteed by somebody or another. France, how are you not dead? They're at 22%. Okay, France loses, like, any more territory. It's game over for them. There's nothing they can really do. And then we'll have to go in there. We're going to have to fix these borders. I don't know how they... I mean, because the AI peace conferences is garbage. Okay, Italy took five states. India took one state. The other kind of party has put... Stuff, bunch of territory is liberated. Okay. Oh no, these borders. Okay, cool. But you're not a part of any factions. You just kind of exist, right? Okay, so we. Okay, we're gonna need to come in here and fix some of these borders. Just real quick. You're still a puppet of France, even though France at this point is definitely not communist. Okay, Ossetania, you can have this territory. Apparently, this is the Holy Roman Empire Corps. We'll give that to you. Normandy is... They don't... No, okay, Normandy, you don't have a culture. I hope you're okay with that. I'm just gonna give... I'm gonna give Normandy back here to France. But, you, like, you don't take any puppets, right? You do not. These territories we're gonna give back to Algeria. But Algeria is also not your puppet. I'm trying to see what areas of Morocco have cores. We'll give this here. We're going to give you to France. 
We got the boss country's been released. Andalusia exists. Okay. I mean, the borders here are a little bit messy, but that's that's fine. French West Africa will send to you. Italian West Africa will sign to you. Give that to Mauritania. France, do you have any other territories? You probably... You actually do. Which, I'll be honest, I don't think makes a ton of sense. Give all this to India... The French East Indies... Again, it just, to me, it just doesn't make sense to see... I'm just gonna give it... You know what? Give it... Not all of it. Are you in the faction? You're not. I'm gonna transfer this to Indian Australia. The rest of this territory, we're just gonna transfer to India itself. And then after that... Let's, let's just say that South Africa in the chaos took over this territory. I mean, South Africa is also French. So, I mean, it, 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 it kind of works. I think that should basically be all of their... Okay, no, they have islands over here as well. France, why do you have so many islands? We're going to give that to Indian Australia as well. Congratulations, guys. That, that, that should be basically... Of course, they have an island over here as well. Congratulations, Ecuador. You can have that island. French Rio de la Plata. We'll give that to Chile. Okay. That that should be basically it. Have you cleaned a border go past 40? No, this actually has been the worst it's been. Overall, it's actually been relatively smooth. That, that, was, that was the first major issue we've, we've actually had. Okay, well... Go collect this at those seven days. Okay, Poland, I'm gonna let you know right now. You are you need me to join your faction, okay? Like you don't have a choice. I mean Burgundy is they're both French. Yeah, let's go nationalism. Poland, you better say yes to this. You would you would actually accept my AI acceptance sheet. Oh, do I still have yes man on? I think I do. I didn't turn it off. That doesn't, that doesn't affect how the AI does things, so I'm not too worried about it. You would say no. The strategic reason to be hostile to the Republic of China. Well, that's a little rude, I would say. We have 40 convoys. Okay, it's time for a convoy build. Get these guys going. Air warfare. None of you guys are really that great. I mean, artillery theorists usually they're pretty good. I'll take them. And again, we have so we have so much manpower. We have so many guns that even though I think China started off with basically no divisions to start with, they are going to blob out of control in in, in due time. Again, the Democratic Front just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Depending on the situation, I might need to force uh, force countries to join the Polish faction. Because Poland might get killed immediately. We'll, we'll have to kind of just wait and see on that one. That's the reason why I think we need to get involved in this faction, just to help them out at least a little bit. Some, somebody has to help them. They can't. They cannot help themselves. Clearly. By the way, Ghana. You know what I like about all of these independent countries in Africa, or well, some of them, not all of them. You know, Mauritania, Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, South Africa. Is that they're not actually ruled by like the people that live there. They're they're, they're all like uh, former colonies. Like Nigeria, and Cameroon. Like Cameroon's Breton and Nigeria's Polish. It, it's a wild time for everybody. And Ethiopia also has no territory in Ethiopia, but hopefully... Does it even have any core territory? They have one. This, this area in Congo is apparently core of Ethiopia. I don't know, okay, they have, they have some cores. But but not, not not too, too many. Also, Winston Churchill, by the way, I don't know if you knew this, he's actually Danish. Yeah, I know, Ethiopia got exiled from Abyssinia by the Italians. 
<laughs> they just kind of hang around. I think this is, is this Lake Victoria? They just kind of hang out around down here now. Okay, Doxin's available. Give me Battlefield support usually, I think it's the best option for us. Get these guys ready, just in case Japan joins another faction. I don't know if they will. Well, hypothetically, if they do. Also, I, 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 I've not shown this off yet, but I really like the Italian Sudanese flag that's been automatically generated. It's, it's just a white background. It's a sedan in like the 3D font that used to be in the old 2000s 3D films. What a beautiful flag. Just, spl just splendid. They really, they really couldn't find anything else other than just slapping the word sedan on the flag. Ethiopia at one point, yeah, they, they range from, I think, Egypt to, like, down here to Kenya. Ethiopia used to be a pretty big powerhouse. And then Italy, the greatest country on Earth, had to come over and they had to ruin everything. Lao has formed an alliance with Japan. Okay, so Japan did the thing I didn't want them to do. Is that they decided to make their own third faction. <laughs> That's fine. Japan, how many troops do you guys have? 22 to 76? And you've made an alliance with Lao over here, I believe. That's yeah, kind of not what I wanted you to do. I knew it was a possibility that they could have formed a faction. But I was just really hoping they wouldn't do it. Filterism. 5% recruit population? Jesus, that's, that's too much. You've denied a request. What do you mean he's in? Okay. Yes, man. Allow Diplo. Poland. It li literally, this is for your own good, okay? This, this is for your own good. You cannot survive it with the situation that you've created for yourself, okay? You need to stop. I mean, Russia down the Democratic Front. It's getting wild over here. You guys need you guys need help. I mean, I'm still worried about Japan a little bit. I mean, soon we'll both be fascist. Like, I think military use will be, That's another 2%. That's that's 7% recruit population in China. Like, it's, it's actually too much. Four troops, 34 divisions. So you guys in half. I'm going to throw you under a new field marshal. Should have enough generals for this. We do. Barely, but we do. I'm going to send these units over to Russia. I don't think the war is going to break out like this year, but it could happen. It could happen. I mean, it's 34. I really think Poland is actually just rejecting everybody's offer. I don't know why they sent the Tataria then. Maybe it's because we're... I really don't know, actually. I, I really don't know what's made them decide to hate us so much. But usually, like, again, once world tension hits a high enough number, the wars actually start breaking out. 